Let's take a look at replacing the ignition coil on a 2003 Ford Escape 3 liter engine. So now the front coils are certainly much easier to access than the rear coils. So we'll just take a look at that. First off, we have to remove this plastic cover here. So I'm going to use an 8 millimeter socket with an extension and a quarter inch ratchet. And we've got three nuts or studs that we need to remove here. There's one on this side and two more on this side over here. You may notice the hood prop rod laying in the way here. Typically you would have this up holding the, the hood. However, uh, to get a little more access, I'm using a different prop rod to hold it open a little bit further, give them a little more light, a little more room for the camera. Here. So once I've got those loose, I'm now going to pick the cover up and slide it up off the engine. Have to be a little uh, careful with a crankcase breather tube right there in the way. But what that's going to do now is expose all of our ignition coils here. So you can see we've got three different coils up on the front side of the engine right there. So we can see cylinders number four, number five, and number six. Now on the Ford, they number it with one, two, and three on the back side of the engine and cylinders four, five, and six up here on the front side. So let's take a look at replacing uh, number six ignition coil here. And you can see I've just gone ahead and disconnected the electrical connector. Now it's important to note on the wire harness here, there is also a little number six here and number five in the four. Pay special attention in case you have all these off, we certainly don't want to mix it up and plug these in to the wrong coil. So it's very important to pay attention that you reconnect the electrical connector back to the one that you just took off. So I'm going to take my eight millimeter socket again, break the bolt loose. And once that's done, I can pull the ignition coil up out of there. And so, one thing we want to look at here is the fact that it's nice and dry. There's no oil inside of there. If there was oil, we'd want to replace the valve cover gasket here to prevent any oil or fluids, for that matter, running down inside the, the spark plug hole. Yes, we want to replace the spark plug at the same time. And once that's done, we can take our new ignition coil, insert it back into the hole, We'll put the bolt back in place. There, once I get this tightened back in place, I can now go ahead and make my electrical connection. And if we look over at the rest of the engine here, you can see, remember I told you the cylinders four, five, and six. Now, if you want to replace the coils for cylinders one, two, or three, we're going to have to remove the upper intake plenum here. In order to do that, we're going to want to remove the throttle cables. There's several bolts holding the plenum in place here. Several more vacuum lines, the EGR tube. If you're questioning how that comes apart, take a look at our video on how to replace the EGR valve itself. It shows you how to remove this. Uh, we're going to want to remove the air intake duct here. And there's several brackets along the back side of the intake. Once that comes up, the plenum comes out of the way and it gives you easy access to those three ignition coils on the back side. When you're going to reassemble it, it's a very good idea to replace the O-rings here or the seals for the plenum. There's one for each cylinder. So it's always a good idea to install the new seals. With that, make sure you have no vacuum leaks when you bolt it back together. Also, if you're going in here and replacing one ignition coil, it's not a bad idea to go to the other coils and replace the boots. Now you can see the boot here. It comes with the, the connector inside there. This basically conducts the electrical current from the ignition coil itself, carries it all the way through to the spark plug, which is inserted inside the boot here. So you would insert that in there, pop it into the coil, install your new coil, and away you go. Hopefully now you understand what it takes to replace the front ignition coil and have a better idea on replacing the back ignition coils for cylinders one, two, and three on these Ford Escape 
three liters.